Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Oh, what a view. What a view to wake up to. Oh, God. Okay, so welcome back to Minecraft. And um, today's episode is going to be about something very, very, very important. So let me show you. I've been a little bit busy in the, in the um, time between episodes. I've been strip mining and I gathered about, wait, one stack, almost one stack, almost another stack. Well, we have, let's say, two and a half stacks of iron, which is enough for what we uh, have to do today. Because I've been noticing all my tools are about to break. I have actually three almost, <laughs> almost done for pickaxes. And we have no means to repair them at the moment. And also, same goes for the eggs. Today will be about villagers. Villagers are basically the way to win the game, I guess. And we have a village nearby. Meaning, we will um, have a look at them and try to bring some of them over here. Actually, what we need to do that is... A lot of rails because if we want to transport villages over to where we are at we will need to um let's make four stacks so that should be enough um what was i about to say something clever i guess <laughs> we need boats so that should be it um we cannot just uh, convince them to walk over there. Um, over here, we have to bring them here. Um, yeah, so that will be kind of a little bit of an abduction, but um, who the heck cares? Also, by the way, I've seen in the comments on the Reddit, I believe, that the staircase here was a little bit too, a little bit too bland, and I've added this well fence framing to it. Um. I'm about 60% happy with it. <laughs> Don't know what, 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 what do you guys think? This is, uh, I'm having a little bit of a hard time with the, with the staircase. Yeah, decoration. Not that easy. Okay, let's go and take a look at the village. And on the way, this is what came out of all the seeds. There are still some left over in the chests on the other side of the mountain, but we have one and a half stacks of bone wheel, which is great. And I've been creating some sort of staircase. I'm not hmm, completely done. This lacks um, lighting and, and, and greenery on the side. But this is as far as I got. Now, this path eventually will lead to the village over there. And it's, it's just as we go, drag the path with us. And I wanted to um, lay down the rails alongside this path. Uh, is this a good way to go? It might be smarter to put the rails down underground. So we have a, a kind of direct tunnel over here, which would be protected from mobs and everything, of course. That might be a plus. Um, it's very quiet over here. Hello, B. How are you doing? Hello? Um. Oh no, I hope they didn't die. This, this sometimes happens because villages tend to get raided by zombies and then the villagers die. Oh God, please no. Oh, oh. Oh, this would be terrible. Is another bee? Oh, there are some guys over... Oh, thank God. Okay, two guys. That is something. Something at least. What is this? This lonely house up there? Hmm. I hear skeletons beneath our feet. Oh, we saved some of them. Oh. Ooh. Okay, past me was clever. Good. <laughs> Hello? We have been through all of that, I believe. Okay, let's see. How many do we have? We need... Well, not sure if... Maybe we should take all of them with us because... This place really doesn't seem safe. If I remember correctly, there was a... Big old cave over this way. 
Wait, let's see if we have anyone in here. Nope. 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 I hear someone up there. Maybe we trapped some in there too. Um, this cave. Probably very deep. This is another place where they could be stuck at, but they are not. Okay. Hello, sir. Ah, we trapped some in here as well. Okay, we don't have... Ah, uh, we actually have a few. That is good. Bare minimum would be two, of course, to breed from, um, as a base to breed from, but this should do. Hmm. Those guys that are stuck on the ledges here, I would like to take them with me as well. Let's just, um, quote unquote, <laughs> save the whole vill village from the, uh, dangers that lurk in the night and just bring them all with us. Okay, I will try to dig a direct path into the mountain into over to our base and bring you back once I'm done. Actually, I wanted to bring you back for a second because I just had an idea. Might be very, very smart. Or medium smart, I'm, I'm, I'm not quite sure. We have a map of our surroundings. We made this wonderful map where our village is on. And instead of using the coordinates, which can be very, um, yeah, annoying to always have this F3 blended in, we can just um, keep an eye on our little arrow over there and make our way towards the mark that we set at the village. And I actually dug into one of the sides of the tunnel here because, um, as I said before in the previous episode, I we need this room and now I know what we need it for. We need it for villagers. We need a room dedicated to breeding them and we need a room for, their, for setting up their profession tables for, well, storing them essentially. And this is what this direction of the tunnel will be. Um, the layout itself, oh, I believe we are just above the mines, oh, oh. <laughs> this could be nasty. Hello, Cave, how are you doing? <laughs> okay, I'm going to leave the recording on, this could be... <laughs> no, don't. Okay, what do I do? Do I just... Ah! 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 What do I do? <laughs> I was about to switch the, the recording off. Yeah. Oh, string! We need string. <laughs> it's handy. Yeah. Hello? Oh, it's a cave. You know, like the cave. I think I will wall this. Oh! 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 Okay. I will wall the sides here off. This is just way too dangerous. Um. Hello. I'd like to. Hello. Um. Does this just turn around? Hello? I don't have my shield with me. Which is maybe not that big of a problem. Eh. Do we have more torches? Yes, we do. Goody. Uh, wait. <laughs> there was a way back. I came from here. Uh, this way, okay. I would like to grab the iron on the way. Because we always need that stuff. Uh, copper I don't care so much for, but iron is just super duper important. Okay, tiny cave, all is good. <laughs> I will still wall this up for the time being. Mm, maybe here? Wait, boop. 
like this and light this up again. I'll, um, I'm making this four blocks wide on purpose. So we have a little bit of room to do stuff with the tunnel if we want to. Okay. Let's go and hope that was it on the cave side of things. Okay, I keep hearing nasty stuff above my head. Which might just be the surface and it might be night, so this should be... I think this is not another cave. <laughs> I'm getting, getting spooked quite a bit. This is actually the point where we turn, right? And hope that we actually meet the village with this as soon as we hit the um the mark on the map i'm just going to dig up and hope for the best and then we will navigate the uh, villagers inside the tunnel somehow i mean we are only going to use this once basically we are just once going to ferry all of those villagers over here in our base Boom, job done. Oh, there's stuff really close. Maybe this is just... Maybe we are... Um, maybe we are actually just beyond the surface. Uh -oh. <laughs> the reason I'm so nervous is because every time I dig up there, um, that could be the time where a block above is missing and stuff just falls on our head. Which could, in the case of a creeper, yeah, I mean, the end. <laughs> it's quite possible. Do you hear that? That is a skeleton dying, which means it's a, probably it is morning, and this is the surface that we're at. And, and, he did. Okay. He's closed. Actually, I can show you something. We just got two string from the spidey, and I've just uh, sorted some stone back in. The storage, we can now, by shift-clicking, place this almost invisible string under the uh, vine thingies, and they will not grow. Which is awesome, because then I do not constantly have to have to cut them back. We need more string. <laughs> Sooner or later I want to um, spend one or two or three nights out there in the darkness with some doggies at my side and maybe a kitty to protect me and just gather stuff from mobs. A bit scared of that, but hey, that's, uh, that's what you gotta do. And I see the first sandstone above us. That is a very good sign. I think we are actually about where the first um, buildings are at. I want to actually go a little bit further. Because I would like this tunnel to come out somewhat even grounded. Not necessarily on top of the mountain. So we are going to keep going this way and I'm placing torches every five blocks on one side of the wall so we have the ground um, uh, space free for the rails. One, two, three, dip, dip, boop. Ha! Hello! Oh, and it is night. Okay, maybe we have to... No, you know what? I want to go further. Hmm, okay, let's use one of their beds. Hmm, okay, let me think. We are... Wait, where's my tunnel? <laughs> there is my tunnel. We are going to come out of here. Da -da -da -ba -ba. I would actually very much like to... Hmm, maybe get out here. At the lowest possible point, that would be good. Wait, let me actually take a look at the height level because that is important for this. This is on height, yeah, 64. So we will have to make a turn 
somewhere here. I know what to do. We will lower the tunnel and keep it going for a bit. Boop, boop. Oh, wait, I have to go down. <laughs> I'm a dummy. Maybe like this. And let's... We have to go down... 64... 7... 7 height blocks. Okay, down to... 64. Let's do that. And we are down on that level and we are... Um, about to meet the point where we have to turn left, I believe. I'm kind of winging this here. Um, I'm not quite sure how far I have to dig this away. Oh, whoopsie, I didn't want that. Um, I think we should be fine if we dig out there, here. Hmm. Okay, let me see. Should be fine. This is perfect. Oh, this is wonderful. Yes. Nice, nice, nice. Mm -hmm. And I will show you why we are doing this on even ground. Um, or on, on this low level. Why that has to be. In a second when we get to actually... Um, Convince the villagers to to enter the tunnel. <laughs> Let's actually shield this off a little bit more. I'm really worried that something. Let's actually light this part up here. That something will spawn up here, up here, and and drop down on our guys. No, like a so. Do do do. Okay. We should be good. Let's put down a little bit more torching. Torchity torching. Okay. Now, the next thing we have to do is to lay down all the rails. Um, we need to design the quote-unquote landing platform first, actually. Forgot about that, because once we put those guys onto the rails, uh, they have to land somewhere, of course. Wait, what What am I doing? This is wrong. This is gravel. This is dirty dirt. Sandstone, whatever. Somewhere else. Mm -hmm. doop, 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 doop. Nice. Oh, and those vines are really getting on my nerves, to be honest. They are growing so quickly. So quickly. You need a lot of string. But that is not for this episode. We need a big room. That is for certain. We need a really, really big room. Hmm. I have not yet designed anything in this regard so let's just leave a little bit just a little bit a big bit of space open we can of course build this room if we need it bigger into the into the side hmm. here is where the cave was i actually filled in the walls because well yeah because <laughs> Let's... why not just do it here? We need a little bit of space, or a big bit of space, um, where those guys can land, where they can breed, and where we can then transfer them off to their profession um, workbenches that are closer to the base. So this thing here doesn't really have to be pretty. It just has to do the job. We have to put a few beds in here. And we need to make sure that the guys that land here don't go back that way and don't just roam freely into, into this direction. That is what we have to do. Like this and like this. And I'd rather have too much lighting in here uh, than not enough. Because you never know. <laughs> 
Uh, beep, 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 beep. This should be fine. Is this light enough? No. Client light seven. I saw you. You are going down here. I'm not risking anything in here. <laughs> now, what you need to know about villagers is that they are not really smart. <laughs> they simply are not. So if you, um, you might know that villagers can open wooden doors, that they can. They cannot open, however, iron doors or trap doors. So this is a door they simply cannot pass. Perfect. <laughs> Same goes for the, for the other way, where we will put down the rails, which, in case you didn't know that, um, can... Let's say, let's say this is closed and the rails go in here. Wait, I can show you actually. What am I doing? I'm not... Um, oh, actually, I think, I'm not completely sure, but I think that this also is practically impassable for villagers, at least for the adult ones, because this is not two blocks high and they only pass through um, openings that are two blocks high. However, I do not know if that um, goes for the baby villagers as well, who may be able to pass there. Hmm. Let's actually take that stuff here with us. We might need it. And we might need another stack of wood for boats. Okay, let's set up here. We will actually need a few beds in here as well. But that has a little bit of time. So. If the railings go in here, and there is a minecart on top of here, we can actually, through this space, come on, come on, yay, go through, woohoo! So, this opening is still villager proof, as long as there is not uh, a minecart which they sit in, of course. <laughs> Now, I want to also, next to the normal railings, uh, get some powered rails going. Not many, we don't need many. Uh, just for the way up that we have to take care of. So every now and then, I will place a redstone block, because that is a power-emitting source block that activates the um, powered rail. And that will practically um, keep the minecart moving. I'm not entirely sure if that is actually needed on an even surface, but who knows? I have it. I'm going to put it down. <laughs> Same maybe here. Mm. Oh, and this is the spot that I want to take care of because they will lose a lot of momentum when they come up here. So I will give them momentum. And actually the redstone po uh, block powers the surrounding powers, powered rails as well. I do not know for how long those are, all of those are powered. You see by the, this is not powered. This dull red lighting is kind of signaling it is not powered. This however is powered and we will put another power trail and redstone block down here. So they should get all the power they need to get up this uh, stairway. Okay, this should actually be enough power to get them going up there. And we are in the village on the last few rails, actually. That's good. That's very good. And let us just put... This is the starting spot. Perfect. <laughs> Bum, 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 bum. Okay, this is this is very close to perfect. <laughs> and we can throw all of this stuff out. We do not really need that right now. We can actually trap the first few guys in boats. Because we need boats. We also need a mine card over here. Yes. That hopefully doesn't move on its own. <laughs> Could be happening. We have two boats. Well... Let's actually test this whole thing. 
let us see if we can get one guy maybe one of those lost guys over there <laughs> they are kind of I'm, I'm, I kind of feel sorry for them let's mm, how do we do this let's put the boat down here and see if we cannot convince him to come down hello you want to come down come on guy oh yeah get in the boat now come on you like the boat the boat likes you no oh, yes <laughs> This is how you trap a villager in a boat. Now the plan is to put him in the middle of the railing, uh, rail. Whoop! Get out, and then just push the minecart. Eh. Yes. Okay. Let's see if he can make its his way all over there, and if he will get stuck in the room. Okay. And he made it in here, and it threw him out of the way. Okay. Let's actually see. Let's block this way off and see if we can very carefully get him out of the boat. Hello. This is your new home for the time being. What do you say? Can you get out there? Can you get out there? I don't think you can, which is great. Very, very great. Let me see what happens if we put those I don't think he can get out. Now we need a few beds. Um, so he accepts this. This so he will accept this cave as his home. Um, I hope we have enough wool, but I think we do. I think we. Oh, we definitely do. <laughs> this is this is great. <laughs> and I will have to remember to close those things just in case. Maybe just like this, just in case the babies can get out. As soon as we have babies, of course. Now, all the beds for many, many villagers, because one bed per villager, if they do not have enough beds, they will not reproduce. Which is what we want. You happy here? Look, it's cozy. There's beds everywhere. I would love that myself. Boop. Okay. This should be fine. He should be safe. He should be able to sleep. He doesn't have a workbench, but I do not think he really needs one. Let's actually take the other minecart and see if we can this time move two villagers at once. Which should be something for the next episode because this one I have to split into two halves again because I recorded for too long. Guys, leave me a like if you enjoyed this video and see you next one. Bye bye!